Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am here bringing you some new products from By the Well for God, the newest devotional kit, and some extra little new goodies, so I'm super excited. Uh, this is the devotional kit for April. Now, the pre-sale is already over, and they sold out in the pre-sale, which is amazing, but don't worry, because they are going to restock. So, if after watching this video, or even while you're watching this video, you can use the links down in my description box, those are affiliate links, just heads up. Um, you can go over and order for the next set of pre-orders and so it's not a pre-sale so you don't get like the discounted stamps and things like that but you can get your order in and then the second batch of kits will be mailing out starting next week so don't worry you didn't miss it you can still get it if you ordered during the pre-sale and you are still waiting on your kit, do not worry. Like I said, they sold out. They were so inundated with orders. So they are getting your orders out. It's just taking a few extra days to process. Because um, By the Will For God is a small mom and pop shop. It's just a handful of people working to put your kits together, which I love the hand handmade hand touch that goes into all of these kits so just be patient a little grace <laughs> they are getting them out as quickly as they can and they are on their way to you if you already ordered so uh let's dive in let me show you what the kit consists of and then i'll show you the little extra goodies um here's one extra little goodie so if you order um orders from laureate by the well for god you always get a little extra bonus like clips and stickers and fun things and then if you order above a certain amount then you get even more extra goodies during the pre-sale so she's just she's awesome you get a handwritten note like that is why your order takes a little bit to get to you because there's so many tiny little details that go into it. Just the packaging of it, the handwritten note, the extra goodies, all of that is just, it's like a whole experience. I love it. So there's that, but let's take a look at the kit. So this is on the road and I'm excited because this is not something I was actually familiar with. So um, let me pull out everything here and then we'll take a look at the devotional First, so on the road, you're gonna notice these super beautiful um, images throughout the kit with the tulips and the girl, just super, super cute. So, and um, what they say here, the Romans road to salvation. So this is um, a way to share the gospel with somebody. It says, if you've not heard of the Romans road, this refers to a set of key verses from the book of Romans that explains who needs salvation, why we need salvation, how God provides salvation, how we are to receive salvation, and the results of salvation. Now, I was not familiar with this, so this is awesome. So if you are somebody, maybe you're already saved, but you are just wanting to have a better grasp and an understanding of how to share that with somebody, easily as easily as possible then this is going to be the kit for you if you are not saved and maybe you're just wanting to know what that means and understand what that is this is the kit for you because then you can dive in and have a better understanding of that so i'm super excited to work through this devotional as always it's a 14 day devotional the way these devotionals are kind of structured is that the idea is that you would spend a day reading through the devotional content, maybe responding to the questions, looking up the verses, doing verse study, and then the next day doing your Bible journaling entry. So then you would have a full month of devotional and Bible journaling time. But of course, you are free to do it however you feel you want to do it. With my schedule, I usually sit down and do like five days at a time <laughs> because that's how my schedule works. So, um, and I have showed in past wrap up videos, I do not Bible journal 14 times for this kit. You absolutely can. There's plenty of product in here to Bible journal 14 entries, but I just don't have time for that. So I respond to everything, read everything, and then I will pop over to my Bible and do Bible journaling on um, maybe different verses that stand out to me or different subjects or study matters that I want to document in my Bible. So um, there is a look at the devotional. It is printed on like heavier paper. So if you wanted to do your stamping and things like that in here, you could definitely just work straight from the devotional booklet. I have done that in the past. Uh, I am, I'm excited. So there are tons of scripture references. There are usually like questions or prompts to help you like engage with the um, devotional content. So lots and lots of goodness there. And so we will be camping out in Romans, one of my favorite books. And I'm so I'm surprised I've never heard of this road. What is it Ro, Romans Road? Romans Road to Salvation. So that is that's awesome. So let's look at everything that's in the kit that's meant to kind of coordinate and help you Bible journal or art journal your way through the devotional kit. So let's look at the 
die cuts. And like last month, there's gonna be all kinds of fun textury pieces I see in here. Okay, so one thing you may notice is there are several different companies right now for this month that are using similar graphics. So there's these graphics with the tulips and the little girl and things like that. So they, this was not planned. Everybody just kind of picked the same theme for this month, which I think is awesome. So if you are working with other products from other companies, um, some of the other Etsy shops and things like that, you can kind of mix and match and work everything together and maybe pick up a couple other items to work through the devotional with. So I, it's awesome. It's all about community, not competition. So I'm excited to see that, you know, it's a God thing when everybody just kind of picks the same thing for the theme and it ends up working out. So the die cuts here, you've got all these fun, like tulips and floral images all about spring. So, so pretty girly and fun. So this is just adorable, adorable. Like, look at that. How cute, <laughs> a little bicycle. I personally like to go in and kind of trim some of the extra um, white border off, but you can leave them just like this. It just depends on what your preference is. If you've ever bought dies that match stamp sets, some dies cut right on the line, some dies leave a white border. It's just a personal preference. So um, these are cardstock and then just blank on the back. You've got on the road, little girl, lots of cute, cute pieces. You've got your tabs. So I like to cut these in half and get twice as many, but they also can just be folded over if you like to fold your tabs over your page. So there are three of those. And then there's some raffia pieces. So I cannot wait to see how you guys use these. These would be fun to kind of tie together on a paper clip and make a little paper clip you know, bookmarker tabby, or maybe you just want like textures poking up behind, you know, one of your die cut pieces, or I don't know. I just cannot wait to see how you guys use this. It's just something that I wouldn't have picked up to use in my Bible journaling, but it's always fun to play with different textures and items like this in your entries. So there's a look at the die cut pieces. Should have started with this. This is the card so you got the title of the kit and then on the back side is Romans 1136 so they usually have kind of a key verse for the kit on the back side of this card so maybe you want that to be a verse that you're working on memorizing throughout the month put it in your car put it on your mirror put it in your kids lunch box use it as a tip in and a journaling entry so uh, one thing I love about by the well for God is their attention to detail so even on cards like there's print and image on the back side too. It's not just plain white on the back side. So I love that they just add all those little details. And then you've got two fabric clippies in fabrics that you know coordinate with the colors of the kit. These are so adorable. I actually like, um, I like them like this and I've used tons of tabs like this, but I have been Bible journaling for years and years. And so all my Bibles are kind of starting to look the same. And so I actually like to deconstruct these um, and then tie it a little bit differently. So I've pulled it through the paper clip and then I just do a simple kind of like overhand tie your shoes kind of knot just like this. And then you get more of a like bow shape and you can go in and trim any, you know, anything that's stringy or whatever, but then you get more of a bow shape. So you can see the difference there. So if you don't, don't be afraid to take things apart and rearrange things. I like to mix and match the different types of paper clips. This just gives me a little bit more paper clips. So it's more secure on my Bible page, but I have them in my Bible like this too. So you do you. All right. Next up is the Daniel Smith watercolor card here. I love these. I will link a tip Tuesday down below where I show how I store these and how to use them. If you have questions about them, I store them all on like a binder ring. And so what these are, are, um, artist quality watercolors that have been squirted out onto watercolor cardstock. And you just take a wet paintbrush to activate the paint. And then you can go to town painting with this. And this is actually enough paint on here to do all the way through the kit and still have then some extra. So I don't throw these away, hold on to them. This month we're getting nine colors, which is awesome. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, all of these. Quinacridone Purple, Rose of Ultramarine, Ultramarine, those are like some of my favorite colors. Prussian Blue is beautiful. So I didn't swatch these out, but they, Lori is amazing at her color matching skills. So these are all colors that coordinate with the colors of the kit. So check out that tip Tuesday if you want to see like how to use these and how to store them and all that goodness. 
All right, here is the four by six stamp set. So really cute, cannot wait to paint this in. And so I did watch Lori's live that she did on Instagram. If you're not following By the Wolf or God on Instagram, you should be because Lori pops on and does live sometimes. And then some of the gals from the um, creative team will get on there and do live videos as well. And so she did mention that this little pitcher and this group of flowers actually fit together. So if you mask off the pitcher, you can stamp the flowers so it looks like the flowers are coming out of the pitcher. So I will show a video showing how to do that. But that way you can use them either on their own or together, which I think is super cute. You've got on the road, little bicycle with the tulips, a butterfly, and then um, this wheelbarrow with the tulips. Super, super pretty, love that. So you could color these in with colored pencils, with the watercolors. Really you have most of what you need to Bible journal just within this kit. You would just need a paintbrush and a pen and you are good to go. So there's a look at that stamp set. You've got three sets of clear stickers. So you've got two sets with just different images. Um, and like I said, these are clear, so they just melt right into your Bible pages. You can place these over Bible text and still be able to see the text. Just keep in mind any of like the black lines or darker areas, it is gonna be harder to see the line or see the text, so just keep that in mind. You can even, these aren't cut out as stickers up here, but you can even cut these out and use like the little girl on a tab, on the road you could use on a tab, even the little by the well for God truck. I love that they like customize the truck and fill it with different things. Uh, so, so cute. So it's the tulips from this month and you've got lots of images there. And then this third sheet has your faux washi strips, it's a big bunch of tulips. And then um, that is a wash. Oh, so one, two, three, four rows of washi and then a couple little tulip in images there. So really cute. You've got your flare buttons, Jesus is Lord, and call on his name. And then on the front of your package, when they wrap your package, you've got some ribbon and tissue paper and another little button. So these are super cute. You can attach these to your um, clippies if you want them at the top of your Bible. You could attach them to the front of your Bible if you've got like a fabric case on there, a book bag, your kid's backpack, you name it. There's lots of things that you could do with these. You could even um, put these on a Bible page if you wanted to. Um, they are a pin, so they are dimensional, but really cute pieces there. You've got the kit sticker. So if you're keeping track of all the different devotional kits that you're working on in the front of your Bible, you've got this one here for on the road. And then that way you can just flip to the front and know which devotional kits are in that Bible. If you're like me and have multiple journaling Bibles, that might be helpful. Or you could use it for a Bible journaling entry, you name it, wherever you wanna stick that puppy, you can stick it and use it. You got a sheet of alpha stickers. So these are not cardstock. They are slightly thinner than that, which I actually prefer. I requested that <laughs> many, many months ago um, that they be a little bit thinner because I feel like they stick better. So um, they have this really cute tulip print. It's like micro tulip print. So it looks like lots of colors, but if you look super close, it's actual florals, which is cute. So you got some ampersand, some punctuation, and then a full alphabet there, which is awesome. And then last but not least are your three tip-ins. And again, attention to detail because even the back side has um, graphics and images, Jesus is Lord, none are worthy, God gave us the way. So you can use these just as a simple entry. They have Bible verses on the front. So if you don't have a lot of time, but you're wanting to document a verse and get the color down in there, you can just stick this down in the page, you're good to go. You could apply some washi tape to one edge, and then you could do your journaling on the backside, journaling on the page, give you some extra room for some more private journaling if you wanted that. So that is awesome. Or just use it as bookmarkers. My kids are always stealing these and using them in their, in their books. So there's a look at everything that comes in the kit. Like I said, um, the first round sold out, so they're currently taking orders for the second batch, which will be shipping out next week. Um, so you can find that link down below for you guys. I cannot wait to dive in and start working through this kit. Let me show you some of the other extra goodies I didn't get everything, but I got a big chunk of things just to kind of show you. So always check out their shop when they put out new devotional kits because they throw all kinds of extra goodies in there, different like scrapbooking company lines that they have that might coordinate, um, stencils, all kinds of funness that they update in the shop. So check that out. So um, they have some journal refills. So these are blank traveler's notebooks. 
And these are meant to coordinate, of course, with the kit. So you get two in a package here. How adorable are these? Super bright colored. It's the same paper in these as it is in the devotional booklets, that nice thick paper. And then this is just blank unlined. So I've seen that there's a couple of the gals on the creative team that are actually working through the devotional kits in a separate traveler's notebook like this rather than in their Bible or in addition to their Bible. And it's amazing. So they're doing all their like art journaling and note taking and prayer journaling in one of these, which is super, super awesome. So definitely check that out. But you do get a two pack of those and they are standard, um, traveler's notebook inserts that fit into a traveler's notebook system just like this one. Um, this one isn't from By the Will for God, but they do have some really cute ones that coordinate with this kit, so definitely check that out. I've gotten some in the past from By the Will for God, and they are the Webster's Pages, and they are just such good quality, so dreamy and nice. So that's what these kind of work with as well. You know, they all kind of fit in that system together, which is nice. Okay, they also have um, a stencil. I've already taken mine out of the package, so let me find something to put it on so you can actually see what it says or see what it is. Maybe that'll work. It's a Tim Holtz stencil, and it is a, here we go. It's meant to look like the road, so like the paved road graphics that you see throughout the devotional kit. That is what this is. And I have so many plans for using texture paste, colored texture paste through the stencil for backgrounds, which I think is gonna be amazing. You could blend distress inks, you could use a baby wipe and Neo Color 2 crayons or gelatos to put through here. So this is awesome. These are some of my favorite stencils. I have some just over here. I store them on like a binder ring and then they're all just like ready to go. So there's a few different options in the By the Will for God shop, um, but this one in particular is meant to coordinate with the kit and that's this road one here. So there is that. And then you also have the coordinating alphabet stickers that you can get. So if you need extra stickers, cause that's how I am, I need all the alphabet stickers. They have this set, I believe there's seven, seven sheets in the clear. So these are clear alphabet stickers. So again, these are gonna just melt right in, oh my gosh, that mint, shut up. <laughs> Favorite color. All right, anyways, so they're meant to just melt right into the page and blend right in. So there's a look at your seven colors. My favorite, like a coral, pink, mint. Oh yes, all of those, please. So there's a look at those. And again, you've got that same um, micro floral, but this is a clear sticker as opposed to the white sticker that comes in the kit. And then you also can pick up the tile alphas. We all know tile alphas are my favorite. And Tim Holtz discontinued his black tile alphas, which makes my heart sad. But these are even better because they're like multicolored. So you get five sheets of the tile alphas in colors that coordinate with the kit. So I love mixing and matching these for my titles. It makes it super, super simple. So there is a look at that. Um, they did also have some new stamp sets that released. I didn't get those. Um, I may be putting an order in for a couple of them because they were really cute. So the pre-sale like discount on them is over, but once the pre-sale's over and they get another shipment in, they will restock the shop with those. Um, and so you can check that out. I'll put a link to their stamps down below so you can just pop in and check in and see what they have available. They also had coordinating inks, which they sold out of the like hand curated ink sets, but they always have the Versa Magic inks um, in their shop. I had most of these, I was only missing a couple. So they sent a couple, um, but this is the lineup that matches the kit. I will have color swatches over on my blog post, so check that out. I'll have Neo Color 2 crayons, big brush markers, gelatos, distress inks, and Versa Magic inks <laughs> all swatched out to match the kit over on my blog, which will be linked down below, so you can check that out. But for next month, if you get in on the pre-sale before they sell out, they have usually put together Versamagic little kits that match the colors of the devotional kit, so don't miss out on that next month. So there's a look at some of the new items from By the Will for God. I cannot wait to start putting together some process videos for you guys. Uh, I'm a busy woman, so I only get a couple out a month, but definitely be following the other gals on the design team because they are amazing. They have just been 
they're so awesome. They have so many creative ideas. And so I'm gonna try to link all of their Instagram handles down below so you can go check them out. Uh, like I said, check out those links down below. If you have questions or comments, leave those for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye.